belong to the Real uh, Research Group from the University of Salamanca. And now I'm going to present you our uh, project, which is uh, INTO, as you can see up there, which stands for Intercultural Mentoring Tools to Support Migrant Integration at School. In other words, peer tutoring at school with migrant students and intercultural mentoring program. As you can see right there, uh, there are the, those are the farmers in this, in this project, which are the University of Southampton, Oxfam Italia, and Oxfam Italia Intercultura, uh, the University of Lodz in Poland, the University of Salamanca, and the Center for Advanced of Research and Development in Educational Technology, which uh, comes from Cyprus. Um, the index of this presentation will be a brief framework what is our main objective, a uh, definition of peer tutoring, the design and implementation of the process, and what will be the resources of the mentoring program in, uh, at schools, and also how can people get involved in this project. In terms of the framework, this is, a, as I said before, this is a, the inter, intercultural mentoring tools to support mainland integration at school. It's a Comenius multilateral project. You can see the, uh, the reference. Uh, it is, uh, the leader of this project is Oxfam Italia, although the different tasks that we are working with uh, were divided into work packages, and each work package is actually led by other uh, partners of this project. The, the duration of this uh, project is from December 2013, from to December 2015. Our main objective is to introduce in the partner country's secondary school context peer to three actions which will help million students in risk of either early in school or school failure in order to improve not only their school performance but also their future job opportunities as well. Um, one definition that the partners believe that is the the most exact is the one that David Duran gave uh, in 2004, which is a cooperative learning method based on the creation of student couples with an asymmetric relationship. One of them will be the mentor and the other one will be the mentee, always with a common aim, known and shared by everybody involved, like for example, the teaching and learning process of a subject, uh, which will be the case of this project, that take place uh, through a relationship between set students, and this, how this relationship develops will be mainly planned by the teacher. This is the design, the main steps of the design of our and implementation of our program. We are now in the, in the transition stage from the first uh, phase to the second. Uh, the first uh, phase actually was. Uh, the one that we, the University of Salamanca, were a leader of, and was basically uh, a general and, general and international need analysis, and more, more specifically, the need analysis of the formative needs of the school and how to select both mentors and mentees. Uh, the second stage that we hope will be begun soon uh, is the the training of uh, the teachers and the rest of the educational staff involved in this project, as well as the men uh, training and selection of the mentors. Uh, during this uh, third phase, uh, it will also take place the selection of pairs of the mentor and mentee. Afterwards, uh, it, will it will take place the implementation of the intercultural uh, peer mentoring program. and. Um, from this uh, point on, uh, we will try to monitor and assess uh, how is the, this mentoring uh, model developing. <coughs> the resources that uh, the teachers, the mentors, and the uh, mentees uh, will have at hand are, uh, as you can see, four. The first one is the learning kit, which is a kit that provides a review in terms of the theoretical and the methodological intervention models for peer education within the schools. Uh, training courses are specifically and especially for teachers from the perspective of the learning, teaching learning life skills and they will also include key competencies in order to set up a new model of intervention towards migrants within their schools. Uh, third, we have the guideline handbook 
uh, which is a guidebook for professionals to support the future implementation of these kind of courses in other education, educational organizations or in other schools that haven't uh, been involved in this project. And last but not least, the Mentors Kit, which is a, a set of lesson, uh, of lesson plans, activities and resources that will be used by the mentors. How can people get involved? Well, you can either uh, attend a seminar to learn about the issues facing uh, newly arrived migrant students or just migrant students under education. You can also participate as a teacher or student in the pilot testing stages of this mentoring program. You can assist in the development of the specific local intro resources, either here in Salamanca or maybe in the other countries that are involved. Or you can contact the responsible here in Salamanca, which is Valentina Tangrando, and you have here her the email address. In terms of, I would like to show you our website, which was uh, designed by CATE, which is the group in uh, uh, Cyprus. Uh, as you can see on the top, uh, below the search box, you can select the, the language of the website in terms of the different languages taught in the, in the countries involved. You have here a very brief uh, explanation of what we are about, as well as here, in which you can see a brief overview, as well as our objectives, the outcomes, that was what I was just talking about, and uh, the partners involved. Also, you have a forum that we will be hopefully uh, open when we start the, the pilot stage of the program, and in which uh, both teachers, mentors, and mentees will be able to um, share their experiences in terms of this, of this program. In terms of the news, uh, here we explain a little bit what we are doing in terms of how to explain to everybody what we are what we are trying to do in this uh, project. Some useful links in terms of different organizations and how to get information of, of each uh, organization and how to contact us depending on where you are trying to, to contact us with. Uh, here you have, you, you can see a box in terms of in terms of username and password. This will be uh, for the mentors, mentees, and teachers to use. So you, we can have a little bit of control in terms of who access to this uh, website and who, for example, shares uh, their information in, in the forum. Uh, and here we have the last newsletter, which is from um, September. This this year, from September of 2014, in which uh, we try to <coughs> inform everybody that is uh, interested, in the, interested in this project what our uh, main resource has been up until this point, uh, especially in terms of the uh, general need analysis, both the documentary research and the uh, focus group meetings that took, play, took place in, the, in all of the countries involved. You can see there also how can you get involved. Uh, this is especially for uh, England. And the main um, information about our class. And that's it. Thank you so much for your attention.